Hey, you guys, what's up? Welcome to the first of the Shutter Island series. I have all my castmates ready to go inside and start this gameplay. But first, I just want to take the time to really appreciate this build. Um, it was done by a simmer named Seven Twice, and I will give her credit in the description box below. Um, you can go on Origin and check out all the builds that she has available on the gallery. Um, but it's a three level, there's only three beds, I think three toilets, two showers, one tub. Um, I went back at a, one point and added a fireplace just so I could add a little bit of mischief into the game and hopefully get some stuff going. But aesthetically on the outside, it's really nice. Um, she has it set up that it's maze-like on the inside, and it's a really simple build um, that'll allow me to kind of change it up a bit and every episode be different from the last. So now let's get these people inside. So Krista inside, Celeste, take your butt inside. Okay, let's see douchebag. Everybody get in here. Make sure I don't skip over anybody. All right, Myra's inside. So the way this build is set up, obviously, there is one way in and one way out. So once I get all these people inside, I'm gonna delete this door. And the crazy thing about how Seven Twice's brain works she put up this big window so you can see the way out, but you it's not it's not attainable. You can't get outside. So uh, she's a different breed, to say the least. I would have never thought of something like this. So when I said I wanted to do a, um, basically my own twist of an asylum challenge, she just took off and made this build. So. This is going to be it for the entire series that we do. We have this door off. All right, let's see what everybody's up to. Douchebag and Krista here, hamming it up. Okay, Celeste is here. I don't know why douchebag's so happy. And Jace is super happy. Jace is outside. <laughs> Swear, I just know I told this dude to go inside. That's why we double check before the before I stop the start watch. Honestly, I don't know how long each episode will be because I'm just going to let everything happen by chance. I'm going to try not too much to intervene um, and see who kills over by what on their own. We get this guy in here. All right, now everybody's actually in the house. Let's get rid of this door. All right, all right, all right. Douchebag still happy. Celeste is inside. All right, all right, all right. Oh, she's asleep. Oh, shit. Already people's personalities are starting to clash with Christus. And I'm here for it. I'm ready for everybody up in here to just really be butting heads with her. Like, honestly, she can be that person that everyone hates. She'd have to stay to the end. Like, if she wins this and takes everything home, I'd be so proud. Everybody's had an awful jingle build day. How could you not? Like, surrounded in, like, your doom. Like, this is a literal dev trap. You were here to die or not. I mean, I guess you're trying, your goal is to be the last man standing, but like the odds of that. Psh, awful jingle bell day. I 
hopefully this is it. Oh my goodness, he's about to cook something. None of these Sims have skills. And this stove was put in here purposely, like surrounded by all these walls in the uh, hope that somebody would start a fire and we'd be one Sim down. Let me see. Okay, we got two people in bed here. Celeste, who's that, Myra? Oh my God, who's crying? In this TV room, like they can't even sit down. Like they have to stand up. There is no couch. There's no chair. So at some point, okay, I think the TV is going to be the first thing that goes. Since they all naturally gravitated towards it, like when they initially walked in the door. But look at this. To have to walk by this window every day. All these Sims love the outdoors. They're all erratic. Erratic. Gosh. Turn this thermostat on here. It doesn't get any better than this. Like, come on. Chris has been pissed since the second she walked in here. Like, I don't know who said something to her out of the way, but kudos to that person. I probably would know if Jace wasn't outside. I know she was talking to douchebag and was set off by something he said, but she was already pretty pissed. And look at him. This is pretty quiet. Oh my gosh. In fact, he's always moping around. I'm gonna make him start this fire. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't gonna do anything to like make them kill themselves, but like watching him like mope around the house, like he's on my list. Delete this TV in a second. Oh my god, there's a fire. <laughs> Who did it? Of course. Leave it to him. I mean, honestly, did we think anything else was going to happen? I mean... Oh my gosh, and they're all lining up. Oh my gosh, we have douchebag up front. Krista's up there, the crybaby, Celeste, and then we have my f Jace in the back. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> 
so Myra's dead cause is unknown. I mean, we know she burned to death, but she wasn't even over there. You guys, my mouth is like literally so open. I cannot even like, I wanted douchebag to die, but for it to go around like this, like what over what? Like, was it toast, eggs? I, I don't even know what it was. I just can't believe that Myra is on the freaking floor. And I don't, I don't know. I don't have any way of figuring out like exactly what happened to her because just so much commotion in Jace's face over there, just like looking like pure evil. I wasn't even paying any attention. Oh my God, you guys look at their faces. Celeste looks like she's been possessed. Krista is losing her mind. So is the crybaby. And Jace is just kind of like watching them burn. Like you would think he'd have like a evil trait, but he's not evil. He's not catching on fire. Douchebag is still burning. Like, I love how he walked away and he's still on fire. Everyone else is just kind of like. Wow. I'm just waiting for it to be over. Oh my God, you guys. Like, who would have thought that this episode would literally be over as soon as it began? Like, I didn't have to take anything from them. Like, nothing broke. Like, no, no, they didn't, like, die of, like, um emotional breakdown. None of them out of, like... I cannot believe this. And this technology that the Grim Reaper has, like his logistics, like this mofo is like. <laughs> Look at him run away. I'm like, you might as well let him put the fire out. I'm like, cause he's the last man standing. And at this point, I'm just in complete awe. Like I just did not expect any of this to be like this. Like if he caught a fire putting this fire out, I would lose it. <laughs> and then like, you would think the Grim Reaper would get him in like order of death. Cause Myra died after douchebag. And he, like, walked right past her, got douchebag, got Celeste, and now is over here where the crybaby is. And they still have their stuff up here. Like, she's very sad, but she's dead. Slowly dying. I don't know. And Jace is all broken hearted. Like he really knew these people. They were literally in the house. Not even a whole freaking day. Ooh.
like he's about to have like an emotional breakdown. But I don't know. Like, I feel like so bad for Jay's. I think, you know, I'm going to have to play him. You know what I'm going to do? I think you guys let me know. Like, what do you guys think? Maybe I should like a mini spinoff of like every winner and get them to their aspiration. <laughs> because this is pitiful. I think I'm like the only simmer. Like, how can you torture them and then feel so bad? But I mean, you know what? This is it for the episode, you guys. Jace is the winner. He's going to be exiting the house soon. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions, any ideas. Leave them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's dramatic. Your comments, suggestions, any ideas down below. I will be interacting with you guys. Until next time, this is Shutter Island.